up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am golden pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 bmw x5 X Drive 40i courtesy of Apple BMW in York PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so wanted to check out this one today because this is the best X5 to buy in my personal opinion from reviewing it in the past. X Drive 45e is going to be the plug-in version of it, the M50i if you want a little bit more power, and the X5m if you want supercar power in an SUV essentially. And so in addition to that, I also wanted to check this one out because there is a rather nice change for the 2021 X5. Also three years, 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance, which is gonna save you some money as well. And so in this video, I will be testing out everything about this one, going over everything about it, testing out acceleration, braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, and everything else. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so when it comes to the MSRP for the X5 xDrive 40i, that will come in at $61,700. And of course, there are plenty of options available for this one to hike the price up quite a bit, actually, if you wanted to. But power plant is going to come from a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder engine, putting out 335 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 331 pound feet of torque available at 1,500 RPM, power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.3 seconds according to bmw however motor trend did clock it at five seconds flat so that is pretty darn impressive for an suv in general quite honestly and mpg numbers are going to come in at 21 in the city 26 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then before we do any kind of acceleration or paddle shifter test in the x5 did want to mention there of course are some drive modes there's drive mode buttons are located directly behind the shifter and they will include eco pro comfort sport and adaptive adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity suspension settings and the seats as well for example if i were to put it in that sport driving mode the side bolsters are going to hug me in place a little bit better a little better comfort when flying around the turns in that sport driving mode but nonetheless having mentioned now all of that what do you guys say Let's go ahead and find a straight away. I think the paddle shifters are gonna do just fine, but I just wanna see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us in our new 2021 BMW X5. All right, so before we do this, to put it in full manual shift mode, you actually can do that. Simply slide the shifter to the back and to the left. That is gonna give me full control over the shifting. And having said that, we are coming up on our straightaway here. Let me get ready. And second gear first gear and in three two one go my gosh instant freakantaneous every single time i swear every bmw that i test out the power shifters on it's amazing they're like super car quick even though we're in an suv that was amazing i love these paddle shifters, they are some of the best paddle shifters out there right now, without a doubt. They never fail to absolutely amaze me, so I love them. But to give back full control to the X5 over the shifting, simply just slide the shifter to the right, and then the X5 has full control once again. What do you guys say? Let's find another straightaway, and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2021 BMW X5 here up to speed. All right, and so acceleration in three, two, one from a standstill and sport mode. I almost forgot. Here we go. Oh, God, it started, man. <laughs> wow, you can feel it in the gut of your stomach, man. This is an amazing acceleration. And see, this is why I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, you don't need a more powerful engine than the turbocharged inline six that we have here on the xDrive 40i. I'm telling you guys, there was no slippage whatsoever. You could feel it in your gut. It pins your head into the back of the seat. The acceleration, the paddle shifters, the driving dynamics are absolutely amazing on this X5 here that we have today. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, 
as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes. When it comes to that 60 to zero stopping distance, it comes in at 119 feet, which is very respectable. Not quite as good as some of the competition, but it's right around there basically. The Genesis GV80, for example, comes in at 112 feet. Audi SQ5, a similar price range to this one, comes in at 104, but all in all, as far as braking feel goes, it's been perfectly fine. There's no brake pedal delay or sponginess or anything like that. So braking feels perfectly fine here in our X5 that we have today. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna find a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, lightweight multi-link integral rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. Did want to also mention though, there is an optional two axle air suspension that goes for $1,000. That of course is going to give you your very best Best ride quality without a doubt but having said that we don't have that today and ride quality honestly is perfectly fine of course the air suspension is going to give you better ride quality if you wanted the very best but i absolutely don't mind what we got here today whatsoever it's definitely soaking up a lot of the road imperfections that we have here in pennsylvania we definitely got a good bit let me tell you but Anyways, as far as steering feel goes, that is amazing. You can instantly notice a difference as well the second you put it in sport driving mode. So that's another one of those adjustments that the driving modes do. And one better than that, the steering feel I feel like gets a little better, although it, I know it's just in my mind, but the steering wheel grips, the 10 to two grips on this thing, are bolstered so thick. I absolutely love it. I feel like it instantly better points you in the direction that you want to go just because the steering wheel bolsters on the 10 and 2 grips are absolutely amazing. So always like to mention that with most BMWs, specifically this M Sport package that we have today definitely helps out with that. But anyways, as far as cabin noise goes, it's perfectly fine. Definitely no wind noise whatsoever coming into the cabin. Sometimes once you hit 50 miles per hour with other manufacturers out there, you get that. You don't get that with the X5, and that's pretty much as expected. We do have a luxury SUV here after all. Then touching on visibility, I actually can see perfectly fine out the back, so absolutely no issues whatsoever when it comes to visibility. Also wanted to mention rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the X5 as well. So essentially what that is, is whenever the X5 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. It's just one less thing you gotta worry about essentially, so that's pretty cool. And if you were to go with the premium package or executive packages, you will find a head-up display as well, projecting your speed as well as the speed limit and some safety features onto your windshield. Better help keeping your eyes on the road there too. So that's gonna assist with visibility. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 BMW X5. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2021 BMW X5 X Drive 40i definitely looks good in black, but let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Active kidney front grill with satin aluminum trim surrounds will be the standard configuration. You guys can obviously tell we have gloss black trim surrounds on that front grill because we have the M Sport package. So did want to mention that M Sport package goes for roughly a little under six thousand dollars if you are interested, but definitely gives it a more aggressive appearance up front. But anyway, speaking of to the corners there, you guys can see it. There are actually front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination giving a little better aerodynamics there to the sides icon adaptive full led headlights they of course do come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights do come standard you guys can see them automatic high beams as well love that feature it essentially means when a car is coming in the opposite direction you got your high beams on it's going to switch that back to low beams for you and then when that vehicle is gone it's going to switch it back to high beams so never have to worry about that again led fog lights also coming standard and what i originally said there at the beginning adaptive full led headlights it essentially means when you're going around the bend at night the headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering better help illuminating what is around the bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a squirrel or whatever so that is a pretty cool feature for the headlights as well and did would also mention though there is an executive package that adds led laser light technology essentially what that is is bmw's version of the very brightest illumination allowed by law so that's going to be there for you and again 
M Sport package goes for $5,750 and gives you that revised front fascia for a much more aggressive appearance, which looks very good in my opinion. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. So now since we are around side of the X5, satin aluminum roof rails do come standard. Although if you do go with the M Sport package, you will get gloss black roof rails. You guys can see that. Also gloss black window surround since we have the M Sport. Essentially everything is gloss black with the M Sport package. I'm just going to sum it up putting it that way. Rear privacy glass also coming standard standard when it comes to the side mirrors they are power folding heated side mirrors with led integrated turd signals that is the standard setup once again satin aluminum window trim is going to come standard on the x5 but again the m sport is going to change that to gloss black body colored side skirts also going to come standard with the m sport package only otherwise you're going to get matte black side skirts down there front fender accents you guys can see that let's take a look at the wheel setup 19 inch v-spoke alloys coming standard on the x5 20 inch double five spoke alloys for the m sport and there are actually some other wheel packages available for this one as well and you guys also wanted to mention with the m sport you guys can see there's red brake calipers that is going to be added then as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the x5 and so up top you will find a body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with the integrated brake light just below that rear window window wiper led taillights of course coming standard on this one as well and by the way adaptive led taillights m sport specific rear bumper if you were to go with the m sport package that we have here today and just below it all this is probably my favorite part x5 has been doing this for a while and it's one of the best looking exhaust setups they actually integrate the outlets into the rear bumper itself which is the very coolest look in my opinion and i do believe you guys know what we have to do next then as always here is that exhaust clip. So since we are around back now of the X5, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a hands-free power lift gate that does come standard on this one actually. And so there's a couple different ways. Of course, it's hands-free. There's a button on the key fob itself. There's a button on the lift gate itself. And there's a button on the driver's side door as well so a few different ways to go ahead and open that one up but once opened up cargo capacity behind the third row because there is an optional third row available on the x5 we don't have it today but i did want to mention that that goes for twenty three hundred dollars if you wanted it but behind the third row 15 cubic feet it's a rare option i will say that behind the second row like you're looking at right now 33.9 cubic feet if that was not enough space, there's actually a 40-20-40 split, meaning everything folds completely flat. Love that. And behind that first row then, 72.3 cubic feet. So definitely a decent amount for what this SUV is, without a doubt. There's also a rear cargo cover back there as well. I always like seeing those velour carpeting in the cargo space as well. So that was pretty cool that they got that. There's some cargo lighting. There's also some grocery bag hooks as well. As far as underneath of the cargo floor there's actually a spare tire you could probably fit a couple things back there but mostly it's just the spare tire there technically isn't any in-floor storage or anything like that so i wouldn't have mentioned that but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear leg room if you were to go with the third row it comes in at 31.2 inches so it's not a whole lot of space so can't show it to you obviously we don't have the third row today in the second row though 37.4 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there plenty of space for me rear center armrest with cup holders also comes standard rear window sunshades can be had for an additional 250 dollars if you wanted that four zone climate control is going to come standard with the executive and premium packages if you wanted that but having said that rear ventilation does come standard across the board so i'm definitely thankful that we have that there's also phone charging ports found on the back side of the front seats if you guys noticed that so rear passengers could charge up their phones or tablets or whatever back there also a little bit of storage just in front of the center rear seat there if you wanted it and there is a 12 volt power outlet back there as well so plenty of charging ports for the rear passengers that's always nice but they make our way to the front seat 16 way power adjustable front seats that is a ton of adjustments that you can have with those front seats and that includes four-way power lumbar and includes two-way power side bolsters 
always like that in BMW because it helps hold you in place around the turns. I love the power side bolsters in any BMW, really. Also, thigh support as well, which I do love as well. But anyways, front seats are going to be heated. That comes standard. Sensatec upholstery is the standard configuration. However, you can get leather seating. That is optional with any of the packages, really. Ventilated front seats also going to be optional. Multi-contour front seats. That goes for $750, yet another option. And you can actually get massaging front seats as part of the luxury seating package, which goes for $1,600 as well if you wanted that. But overall, as I said, 16-way power adjustable front seats. These seats are plenty comfortable. Really, you should not have any issues whatsoever in finding your perfect driving position in the X5 just because these seats are so many different ways adjustable. So I love that. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is power tilt and telescoping, by the way. So that's always nice. It is leather wrap that comes standard and you can get a heated steering wheel for an additional $250, which I'm loving on this super cold day here in Pennsylvania. So now let's get to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. This is a M Sport specific key. You could tell by the colors, of course, on the side of the key, but you do get lock, unlock, that button to pop the rear hatch. And by the way, the lock button is the BMW logo in the middle, but it essentially is all keyless entry with a push button start. There is also a remote start that comes with the convenience premium and executive packages. And you do have a digital key with a little key card as well. So let me show that to you guys. Essentially the way this works, this is an NFC card. You just slide it on the wireless phone charger and that is how you're going to go ahead and start this one up. If you didn't want to carry your keys around, it's also going to unlock and lock the doors then as well. So technically you don't even need the keys anymore. It's pretty cool. But for now, I'm just going to put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the shifter there. And so once started up, you are looking at a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. And I love this setup. Speedometer on your left. And there's steering wheel mount controls that you can adjust what is on that actual digital gauge cluster. Also, when you change the driving modes, it's also going to change the look of the gauge cluster as well. If I were to put it in Eco Pro, it's going to be a bunch of blue hues. If I were to put it in Sport, it's a bunch of red hues. And of course, Comfort is going to be kind of orange-ish. So you can adjust the gauges with the driving modes, I guess, as well, which is pretty cool. Also, speed limit recognition technology is going to tell you the speed limit at any given road towards the bottom there. How many miles you have left until you hit empty your outside temperature. The list goes on. Digital gauge clusters are really the future, and I love BMW setup for them. So navigation is going to be front and center as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality here. Panoramic moonroof comes standard on this one. Did want to mention the coolest option, though, for the X5. With the executive package, you get a Sky Lounge LED roof, essentially LED lighting surrounding the whole panoramic moonroof here. And it kind of looks like stars for the actual moonroof itself at night. I can't show it to you guys because we don't have it, but that is super freaking cool. I wish we did have it. But anyways, anthracite headliner comes standard LED interior lighting as well. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors found on the bottom portion of that rear view mirror there. Multicolor ambient lighting coming standard. Love the ambient lighting in BMW. I will say that as well. You do also have the option for glass controls if you wanted it that comes with the executive package so like the shifter also some of the knobs for like the volume and also the knob for the uh, infotainment it's going to be glass which is a pretty cool setup i like that and overall it's finished pretty much like you would expect a bmw to be finished you have some nice contrast stitching within the leather found above the passenger side glove box the whole dash is wrapped in leather and contrast stitching as well as the doors you do have two cup holders just in front of the shifter 12 volt power outlet USB charging port and as I mentioned to you guys you also have that wireless phone charger which you can put that card to actually start this one up with as well there is an electromechanical parking brake found just behind the shifter and within the center armrest a decent amount of storage actually not all that much storage if I'm being honest but there is a phone charging port in there as well and Honestly, my favorite part is the panoramic moonroof as well as the LED ambient lighting. I think that's so cool. But now, speaking of the ambient lighting, let's make our way to the tech screen. There is a 12.3 inch infotainment screen of course, to match the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, it makes sense. You can adjust it by touchscreen. It is a touchscreen. You can also adjust it by using the circular dial and buttons located just to the right of the shifter. It is also voice activated and there is also gesture control that comes with the premium and executive packages. So for example, I could put my finger in a clockwise rotation to turn up the radio 
and vice versa to turn it back down. It's one of the things you can do. There's plenty of other things as well, but that is a pretty cool feature. But Bluetooth and audio streaming, of course, comes standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay coming standard as well. Factory navigation coming standard as well. You can check out your weather information actually up there too. Of course, like I was saying, ambient lighting. You can adjust all the different colors up there if you wanted to. There's quite a bit of different colors you could check out. So that's my personal favorite. Also, of course, your radio information. And by the way, that new feature that I was mentioning to you guys at the beginning for the 2021 X5 at least, Sirius XM radio actually now comes standard. So that is pretty cool. I like that. I like Sirius XM radio. But anyways, as far as the speakers go, 10 speaker hi-fi sound system coming standard with 205 watts. However, if you were to go with the premium or executive packages, you can get a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 464 watts. But we don't have that one. We do have the 10 speaker sound system here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Honestly, it was all right. I guess he gets the job done. I personally, I've heard the Harman Kardon sound system and it's a night and day difference compared to that one I just tested. So definitely go with the Harman Kardon if you can. That's what I would prefer. But anyways, that sound system will get the job done. Definitely not my favorite though. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the X5 in reverse, you will of course find a rear view camera. And it did want to also mention 360 degree monitor is going to be optional, but either way, that as always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard in the back. You're going to have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. That's all pretty boring for the most part, but where the fun comes in also standard is going to be a frontal collision warning system, active blind spot spot detection, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, like I said earlier, and front and rear parking sensors as well. And then there's a couple optional safety packages, including parking assistance package that goes for $800 and the driving assistance professional package that goes for $1,700 then, which gives you adaptive cruise control and a couple others. But Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 2021 X5, great ride quality, even without the air suspension, that would be even better, obviously. Three years free maintenance is definitely very nice as well. Free Sirius XM is a nice addition for the 2021 model year. Near perfect interior quality. I absolutely always love the interior quality, especially when you go with the glass controls. I played around with those before. That is really, really nice. Third row is somewhat unusable, I guess, if you were to get that. So might as well just get the two row in my personal opinion. So it's usually what the X5s are going to be, the two-row setup, but you can get the third row. So I do like that they have that as an option. And my really only constructive criticism for this one is it can get very pricey with all of the options that you can get on this one. But then again, it's kind of cool that they have the options there. So you can essentially get what you want, really make the vehicle your own, which is kind of a good thing, but it does get pricey. I will say that. But that about rounds out this review you guys let me know what you guys think of the x5 in the comment section below feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold